now we can create the basic BOQ structure based on work sections and sub work sections. So actually now we will start creating our view of quantities um, using information that was uploaded before. So let's go back and let's start doing that. So yeah, I will set my windows like this now and now we'll start working with this area here, okay? As you can see here in this option, we have these buttons, the addition or the edit block of options that is quite similar or is maybe the same that we have here inside of the, the project database uh, option, okay? So it works the same. So let's add some sections, for example, chapter zero, preliminary works, okay? Let's add another one that's going to be, uh, we, set, we, we uh, first we made, uh, it was substructure, substructure, then super structure, okay? Then we created external and internal walls. Okay, what, oh, sorry, the, here there is a problem. I forgot the code, no problem. Let's put here, let's adjust it, okay? What's the difference between now and the first one? The first one, it was at the project database, and now it's the view of quantities. As I said before, the project database and view of quantity structures can be the same, but sometimes they will be different. So actually we'll feed the view of quantities with information from the project database, okay? The project database will be used in future projects. The view of quantities is just this scenario. And the different, the main difference is that here we'll add then some quantities to each item of the coast database, the quantities that we'll get from the, uh, the files, the, the DWG files, okay? Um, Let's add some more some more options here. Like in four, it's gonna be isolation and water proofing. Five, it's gonna be roofs. And six, it's gonna be internal finishes. And let's add uh, one that is different from the the coast database, just to show you that we can have different structures here, like external works, for example, external works. Okay, so here we have the 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 chapters or the folders of our view of quantities. Okay, so if we have that, let's add some items to this uh, coast database. Let's add, for example the structural elements, for example, just to use the same example that we made before. So in this folder, now I'll add an item, okay? Which item I will add here? If I know the concept code, I can add the concept code here, okay? Which are the concept codes? The concept codes are the codes that we have here. So in the structural concrete works, uh, here, for example, I have a flat slab that is have this code. Or have I have here some columns, and the column have this code. So if I know the code of the 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 column, I can copy from here, and I can come back here, add an item, paste the code, and then apply a factor if I want. Okay, and then I have here the 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 item inside of this folder or this chapter. Okay, this is one way. Of course, there is another way that is much easier. That is, add the item, use the blue arrow, and search for a code. For example, let's we add the rectangular square column. Let's add a bin, for example. Let's look for bin. So here we have reinforced concrete flat slab. No, no, no. Drop it bin, straight reinforced concrete, like this one, for example. I'll add this one, okay? And then in this chapter, we have the bins, okay? This is the code of the bin, this is the description, this is the price, but we don't have quantities yet. Let's add, for example, also the slabs, okay? Slab, oh, sorry, it's not here. We must open the list, slab. Reinforced concrete slab, there are 
different types here, I will get this one, for example. And then we have these labs. So now we are adding information from the project database that we created before. Okay, we are not creating new items. We are just importing these items from the project database. If we need to add more items uh, or add an item that we don't have in the project database to the bill of quantities, first we go to the project database, add the information that we need here, save it, and then here we can fit the bill of queue with information from the project, that project database. Okay. All right. Here, uh, here we can see some things that are very interesting. For example. Uh, we can change the, the, the item. So I selected before the, this item that have this code, but selecting another item from the list, I can change the code. That's one option. And another option is to see the breakdown of this item or this concept. It means the items that are part or of this reinforced concrete rectangular or square column. So here I have the, the steel, I have the, the, we can open the summary a little bit more here. Okay, galvanized tie wire, a metal sheet, adjustable uh, something, a ready mixed concrete, form worker assistant. So all the, the items that are part of this cubic meter of reinforced concrete rectangular or square column. Okay, we can also see here in the graph how is the importance of this each item in the total amount of this price. So I can see that in this case, this material here, that is the steel bars, uh, have maybe it's one of it's the most expensive material here in the in this in this concept. I can also here see that the labors are very expensive. Uh, although I can see here that these metal sheets are not too expensive or they're the impact of this price in the total amount of the cubic meter of, of this material is it's less. Okay, so we can see here the breakdown. And then we can also see other type of data here according to the information that was introduced in this um, in this concept. Okay. All right. So yeah, now we know uh, how to include uh, items from the project database to the view of, of quantities. Okay.